All right, Joe. Now we're going to help Alec out cooking some bruschetta chicken. It's always good when you're in the kitchen. You always bring lots of good stuff, good vegetables. Bruschetta chicken is what you're making today. So yeah. I know we're going to need some oh, flour, some egg. What else? Well, I want to throw Joe a plug real quick. How about y'all double up the, the uh, donation and keep him in jail? You know what I mean? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you take him some good food. Maybe maybe he wouldn't mind as much. I'll feed him. I'll we got to raise lots of money for Joe. All right, so for Bruschetta well, here's chicken. Here's what we're doing today. We're going to have, uh, we're going to bread, we're going to bread up a little chicken. We're going to run it in the oven. We'll make a uh, Parmesan breadcrumb uh, kind of topping. And we're going to roast bake it in the oven. Then we're going to come back with a topping with a tomato and onion and lime type um, uh, roasted tomato on top. You know, something watering. like that. It's what really do you back away from the food. Yeah. <laughs> so first we need the chicken breast. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dredge it in a little flour real okay. quick just to give you a little sampling of what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. We're going to dip it in some egg, wa egg wash here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going we're gonna to take it and we're going to lay it on. The sheet pan here. Oh, look at that. Huh? All right. I, 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 I got too much. I need some more egg on that, don't I? That's okay. All right. Well, then that's on. that's one look, and then we're gonna take. Um, let's see where my oh here my butter. We're gonna take <laughs> and we're gonna put a little butter uh -huh. inside my bread. Now I've already colored these breadcrumbs and, and toasted them off with some paprika and some parsley, some flavors like that. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna take and we're just gonna stir it up till it gets kind of pasty. Okay. You know. Okay. So just breadcrumbs, uh, and those breadcrumbs look like they're a different color. Well, what? they are because I've added paprika to it. That's what I'm, made them that color. Yeah, yeah. It okay. was regular white breadcrumbs. All right. Japanese breadcrumbs, and then I've I've paprika it and, and the parsley it and seasoned it a little bit. Just want to make sure you don't leave any steps out. We want to be able to make this at right, home, just like Alec Naiman butter. makes it. All right, there we go. We're all right. A little more butter there. There we go. Okay, now it gets all kind of pasty, and then uh -huh. basically I'm going to take it. I needed a big old spoon for this, didn't I? Yeah, that's all right. You're doing pretty good I with got that a one. Big spoon right back here. All right. All right look, Stirring we'll, that all up, and we're going to we'll put take, that on top of the chicken. We'll put that right on down. We'll pat it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like okay. that. All right. That. Now we'll actually bake it in the oven like this for about 15 minutes, 12, about 10 to 12 minutes, because I don't want it done. It only takes about 15 minutes total to bake a chicken breast. Mm -hmm. So if you bake your chicken breast 20 minutes, you probably dried out all the juices. And that's when it's real thin, right, Alan? Well, I mean, even when it's thick, when it's really thin, I'd cook it like 10 minutes. Okay. But if it's uh, nice and plump and juicy, so uh, like this, 15 minutes, and it comes out really moist. 20 minutes, it comes out dry. That's the secret to chicken breast. So then we'll we'll put this in the oven, let it go, and then we right before it's done, we'll to come out. We'll I'm gonna make a a, a tomato and green onion with lime and all that, and put it wow. on top and roast the tomatoes for the last five minutes. This sounds good. Okay, before we go, though, would remind everybody or let everybody know. I guess this is our first cooking segment. I've been reading all about it, so I'm thinking, oh yeah, I remind. But there's going to be a big casino night fundraiser for St. Mary's, and it's going to be Saturday. Yes, and Saturday night. you're asking everyone to wear red a uh, red carpet attire. So this is going to be a right. very upscale, fancy. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, get some, get your best blue jeans out. I mean, I'm really, <laughs> and your best tennis shoes, okay? And put a tie on. Okay. You know, that's, All right. That's what I say. An evening at the Oscars, Silver Screen Spectacular is a theme. It's the 25th year of the annual fundraiser. There are going to be games. Fox 10 meteorologist Jason Smith is going to be a celebrity dealer. Live and silent auctions, door prizes, and of course, some fabulous food, just like this. And I know you have a lot of different the, stations you're going to have set up. Well, it is going to be great. We We've got some other restaurants and caterers participating with us, so it's a wonderful event. This is St. Mary's 25th year, I think. I think it's called the quarter century or something like that, anniversary. Yeah, I think we might have been the first casino in Alabama. You know what I mean? So <laughs> okay. I hope the AG don't come get us. <laughs> all, right. Yeah. all right, we'll just send them your way, Alec. All right, all, right, all the I'll information about casino night, tickets, is going to be at St. Mary's, the address, and this recipe is on Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page. We'll go ahead and put this in the oven and Alec has a lot more to do so we'll keep going in just a few minutes. And after the running of the cheese they'll want some Wawa. <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs>
You like you like that one? That was a good one. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was pretty bad, but I just decided to throw it out there. Alec Naiman, <laughs> Naiman's Catering in our kitchen today. You've got a lot of stuff going on here. Man, okay, well, we got the chicken, and, you know, we, we breaded it and floured it and, and egged it and mm -hmm. got it in. Now, um, that's kind of the same motion as the card dealing you were doing for St. Mary's Casino. Well, I was practicing, you okay. know, just in case. If you don't sling them out that fast, them guys will double up on you. you know? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Double up or double down or split. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we got to split this cooking segment up because we got potatoes to do and yeah. we got to work on that chicken so all right well uh here's what we got real quick we have diced up some potatoes mm -hmm. i say diced up kind of i don't know what they are really uh, there we, you go that's a culinary we, expertise we coming cut, into play we cut them all kind of ways you know <laughs> we cut the potatoes and lots of it what are y'all putting on there you know there's some salt pepper garlic little paprika mm -hmm. we're going let's see we're going to whoa oh, look at that we're making a splash we're going to saute these babies. And then we're going to follow it up with some onions here in a minute. Okay. And, and you have um, olive oil in there, right? That's that, that is. That's an okay. olive oil. And we're, not cook, we're cooking it about uh, 7 on a 10 scale. Or mm -hmm. We're going to reduce it down to about 4 or 5 once we hit the outside of these potatoes kind of good and get them coated. Okay. All right. So and you want to hit them first, get them coated at the high heat, and then yeah. turn it down. And then I turn see. it down. Yeah. And then we'll put a little top over the top and let it... And we won't add the onions to about the last five minutes because the onions will wilt really fast. Okay. All right. So that's that's that. That's that. All right. Now, in the meantime, while the chicken's in the oven, it's almost time to pull it out and uh, and put on put this little tomato and green onion topping on Ooh, it. Ooh, man! You know, well, this is gonna be so good. This I looks can't wait. Good. All right. It, co it uh, calls for limes. Have you noticed how expensive limes are? You can't even find them in some stores because they're just so expensive they just don't want to carry them. So uh, there's a lime shortage out there. You probably read about it in the newspaper, the Wall Street Journal or somewhere. So you're going with lemons today? I'm going with lemon today. And I'll be generous with stuff like the garlic and things like that. Ooh, so, yeah. So, ooh, look at that. Hey, hey man, a little you're splash. Just making stuff go all over the all kitchen right, here. We're getting all the, lime, all the lemon juice we yeah, can. Yeah, you're putting I, a lot of lemon juice in there. Well, we want it to be kind of tangy because we go on top. We'll roast these tomatoes on top of that chicken. And, ooh. Let's see. We, we can just about pull that out of the oven now. Let's see. We just toss it around. I need the mm -hmm. salt and pepper and garlic in just a tad. All right. And look here. Uh, uh, uh. That looks so good. All right, all right. Now let's. All right. So if we got time. Let's take this. Pull out this of the bad oven. boy out. Let's take this out of the oven. And uh, here we go. We'll set it on top of this for the time being. Sure. Just and for TV purposes, and then TV we're gonna top purposes. it with all of that. That's exactly right. All, all right. right. So then we do that, and we put it back in the oven for how long? Yeah. Oh, just five minutes. Just five minutes. We'll be eating here shortly. Looking forward to it. More with Alec Naiman. We'll also remind you about St. Mary's Casino Night Fundraiser Saturday at 6, St. Mary's Catholic School. Time now for a look at what could be a turbulent day in the weather, ladies. And Alec Naiman just pulled a lot of chicken out of our oven. Bruschetta chicken, by the way. One of Naiman's specialties, right? It is. It is. We, uh, we do this quite often. And it looks really good. So, again, on top. You put some tomatoes, put some cilantro, put some little green onions, yeah. breadcrumbs. Yeah, it, uh, and we, we breaded it, then we floured it and egg washed it, the initial process. Then we put the buttered breadcrumbs on top and baked it, and we finish it off with the tomatoes. You make it look so easy, Alec. You make everything so pretty and look so easy. This is what the finished product looks like. You also have some potatoes and onions over here. Well, here's a finished product, and you know what? It is easy. The tough part is cleaning. Up. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm recruiting Joe. Joe is the best cleaner upper I know. In my house, I'll cook. I will not do dishes. It's just, but it goes, goes hand in hand. If you cook, you shouldn't have to do dishes, right? I, I like that deal. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm thinking you're you're off the hook when it comes to doing the dishes yeah. today. Since you shared your that's, recipe, you made all this good food, well, you made it up for so everybody. We've got so many people here. I had to cook a lot. That's why it's all pushed. Usually, I would have individuals. But, you know, we, I want to talk about St. Mary's just one more time before yes, we have to go. Yes, you're going to be cooking there. Good fundraiser coming yeah, up big, this Saturday at 6. Big crowd. Usually we have five or 600 people. we got room to handle more. we got plenty of food, plenty of participants, lots of celebrities coming out. Uh, it's just a great mingle time. It's it's. It, like I said, it's been 25 years. We've been participating most of my adult life ever since, I guess, since they started. 
but uh, it, uh, it it's great. It, you have a great time. If you don't, if you want something to do, it is worth the money. I think the tickets are only like twenty five. Yeah, it's on our screen, on screen right now, so you can that? see that the address, $25. the time, everything. There's going to be a silent auction, yeah. games, and lots of good food, it's, lots of different. You can't stations. go to any restaurant and get as much food as we're going to have. We're going to have shrimp and seafood and roast and. And oh, Alex is going to feed you. When you go to one of Alex's events, he's going to he feed you. He paid 25 <laughs> bucks almost at McDonald's for this kind of stuff. Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page is where you can get this recipe and all the information about St. Mary's Casino tonight. It's always amazing having you on the show. Now let's eat. <laughs> all right.